Okay, guys, check it out. This is going to be the tree, right? Okay, this is really like you got to watch a few steps. It gets easier, okay? So I'm going to start off with shift A again, and I'm going to actually make a plane. The mesh method is really cool because you're extruding all day, right? But watch how fast this is, okay? Look at this. It's a plane, right? Remember how we tabbed earlier and I right click and subdivided? We're going to do something different. Watch this tab, right? Now we can we can merge this. There's merge commands in this app. Merge vertices to center, okay? Or or like watch, it's one crazy point. Okay, it's one vertex, right? Remember how we extrude out of cubes? Believe it or not, you can extrude from a vertex. Craziest thing, right? Watch this. I'm gonna press E. <laughs> See what just happened here? Isn't this awesome? Right? Okay, so watch again. All right, E again, and I'm just like point and shoot. I know it's not a good good way good good enough. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, E again there, all right? Right? You get where I'm going. E, all right, sweet. And then you can zoom out, shoot E up here, way out there. Okay, so you're saying Balian, what about another angle? Watch what happens here. Pick any point you want. Pick this point. Right? Now I can press E. Boom. E. You get it, right? And for trees to work, you just gotta keep moving the angles and you gotta have splits, right? So I can come in here, click on this one, E, boom. E again, sweet, right? So far so good? Yeah? Okay. All right, so let's just let's just take another branch from here and then shoot upwards here, E again. Again, I'm constantly pressing you. You get what I'm saying, okay? One more here. And then I think someone's gonna say, what if I wanna make one in between these two, right? Imagine that, right? So far so good. Remember that subdivide technique we used earlier? Same one. Boys, if you have some experience, you should be watching here, okay? This isn't just for the advanced students, okay? Look, okay, so if I select now, I'm in select, I'm gonna select this one, and let's say this one. These two are selected, right? I'm gonna press period so I can zoom in, right? Two are selected. In between, there's a line. Okay, so far, so good. Right click, subdivide. What, what? You can subdivide a line? Sure. This app is wild, right? Watch. E. Now, because <laughs> it's line, right? Don't do that. Say, okay, okay, I get what's going on. I'm going to click out. I'm just going to select that point, and then you can hit E and so forth, E again, and you got it. Okay. So far, so good, right? So let's pretend this is okay. Now what you could do is you can look at it in your orthographic views, right? So look, I'm in my orthographic view. Let me press forward slash. Okay, let me tab out for a second. Now I'm going to press forward slash. Everything else is hidden. Good. Okay, watch this. Okay, so it's here, right? Kind of looks okay. Let me try another view. This angle is way off, right? Tab. I'm in tab, right? It's like before. Select a point. Move it over. Oh, yeah, I want my tree to be down here. Awesome. I want this to be here. Excellent. We're just going to bring this down, right? I'm going to select these two points, and I'm being really lazy. Right click subdivide nice right now click on the y again get a different angle right you can say all of you all of you points here I'm moving you on this side see you and take these points move them over lovely okay now you're saying let's get can we get this tree going give me a second here you'll see okay really wild stuff here okay so be careful don't piggyback if you're going out this way don't go the opposite way down because trees aren't like that look outside the window you're not seeing it going this way and going opposite, right? That doesn't jive. It doesn't sit right. Okay, so far so good, right? Now we're going to go into, into plugins. Okay, it's not plugins, so it's just this part here. Watch. Remember this little wrench, my wrench friend here? A modifier, right? Modify, sorry. Wrong terminology here. Okay, so I'm going to first tab out. This is it, right? Right here. I'm going to right click right now and I'm just going to kind of set the origin to somewhere in the middle, wherever here. Okay, here's the first one. Let me remember. Is it a skin modifier first? Let's see if it is. Okay, let's go. I think it's skin and then I use uh, subdivide. Okay, so watch. Oops. Whoa, whoa easy. Oh, slow down, dude. Right here, skin. How cool is that? Right? That's skin, right? Now, remember in this app, we need to be in, in, in like uh, x ray mode right? X-ray mode to kind of see what's happening behind, right? So we click here and here. Okay. If I hit tab now, watch what happens here. Okay. Right. Check this out. Select this point, right? Drag. What? Now you and I know that scale is S, right? However, it doesn't work in this. 
Scale in this mode is control A. Watch. I'm going to press control A. How sweet is that, right? Do you see that? Isn't that nice? Look, I'm going to click here and I'm move this away, right? Up here somewhere. Let me spin around. I'm looking at this and I'm going to press control A again. So you can select a bunch of these. Come on. How awesome is that, right? Right? No, one's, no one else is geeking out here? Yeah, thank you, Faith. You're awesome. You're digging it. I love it. Okay. So here I'm going to click control again. So I, I keep repeating. So it kind of sits in, right? So I'm going to come down here now. I'm going to try to find the base. I'm going to chunk up the base. As you know, the tree, the trunk, the main base is the key, right? So I can't find it here. So I'm going to look. Oh, there. I see you. Thanks for coming out there. Watch this. Control A. Right? And now if you want, you can rotate it, right? I can rotate this to some whatever angle. I hope I can. I hope I can. Maybe I can't. Who knows? That's, that was kind of futile, Valiant. All right, let's see. Is there one in here somewhere? I'm picking, right? I can now press Control A again. You get it? And I can now move it up. Make sense? Now, you're the type that says, oh, come on, it's taking too long. So just pick a point, hold Shift, left click. Hold, hold Shift, that's exactly what I'm doing. Left click. Now I'm going to scale all these in one shot. Okay, so I'm going to go Control A. You got it? Okay, I don't want to do it that way, guys. Honestly, don't do it that way, all right? Just come in here and go, I think there's something over here. I can press Control A, I can, and now I can make these. It's really wild, right? Pick a spot here, Control A again, make it thicker, and so forth, okay? So let's say we like that. There's one more modifier you got to add, and it's the subdivision. Okay, check this out. Add modifier somewhere here, subdivision surface. Now it becomes what you guys prefer, right? And I think there's a bunch of like level of resolution. I'm not even going to touch it, okay? I'm not touching any of this. I don't think I've shown you guys these modifiers before because we were online and everything, okay? Right? See that? Okay, let's say this is a good start for me. And again, even in this mode, I can come in here and do, look how nice that is, right? You can't be going down, man. Go up. Spin around. I'm holding middle mouse. That's all I'm doing it to spin around, right? I'm saying this is okay. This is too short. No problem. Click and drag and up. Sweet. See what I mean? See how nice that is? It's all flaring out, right? It's not all going the same direction, which is that's okay too, but we are we have nice Ys in here. So even if you click somewhere in here, I can't see it. I can press control A and just in here like that. Okay. Take your time. Now watch this. Now I'm going to collapse it. Collapse. Okay. So that means no more, no more of these modifiers. Okay. Okay, so I need to tab out. You have to tab out. And now watch. Come here, apply. Come here and apply. Oh, I just lost it. I shouldn't have done that apparently. Where should I do first? Okay, let me try. Where do I, do I do it in here? So let's say it's like this. Why can't I apply this? Let me try applying this one first. That's done. And then apply this one. Sweet. Now you got your faces, right? Now, you and I know that this base is not proper here, right? Like, there's no way I, I want this to go for me, right? Right? So look, down here, that looks terrible, right? So now you're back in the zone that you're comfortable with. Tab, come in here. I'm going to hold Alt, which is Option. Option in Mac, Alt on Windows. Check it out. Right here. I got my loop, right? Same thing you guys did in grade 9 with the chess piece. S for scale. Done. I can press Alt in here in the direction I'm going. S, now you can use the S properly and so forth, right? I don't need these faces, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this view. I'm going to get rid of these ones. If you're deleting faces, always, always stay in x-ray mode because you're not going to catch the back ones. I like Maya. In Maya, I can do this much faster, but this is sweet too. Look, go into face mode and grab all these ones. Ugh, this is not the best way. Let me hold Alt or Option, and I'll just loop it. Thank you. I'm going to press X. Bye-bye on these faces. And then I have a few left here. Press X. Face is gone ski. Right? That's much better. Go back into shaded mode. Okay? So this is my starting point. Right? Now I'm going to duplicate, 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 duplicate. I should have done it earlier. doesn't matter. Right? Tab out. We're good. I'm going to right-click. Set origin to mass. Thank you. It's in the middle now. So I can go in here. Shift D. And I'm going to press X. Number two. Shift D, X again. And then you play on scale. You do whatever you want, okay? So if I press S like this, this is weird stuff, right? S and Z, and I can do stuff like that. 
right? And I'm going to come in here, do what you guys like to do is like, we're saying, okay, I don't know, guys, this is another method. Okay. You got to take your time, bring some references, keep it simple. Don't jump to the end. This, this, this is a sweet method to do, to create trees. And that scale business was terrible. I'm sorry. I had to delete that. I can't look at that. Okay. So you take your time in here and remember, right? You go into tab mode and say, I want to loop something. I want to come out a bit. Okay. What do I do again? I think it's option. Watch. See here, and I press just a little bit of S, see, in, out. So you're gonna have to do a lot of loops to kind of deal with this, right? Like, you know, if I want this to loop over here, press option between the two, beautiful. Press S, move your mice, move your mouse away so you get the spider web. If you're too close, guys, it's really hard here, right? See that, I'm now, I'm all over the place. I'm a disaster. So my, my um, rule of thumb is, so I can hold shift and middle scroll to pan, to pan. I move my mouse and then I press S so that I can do a global scales and so forth. Okay, tab, we're good. How's that? Cool, another one or that's good? That's good, all right, let's sign off. Bell you know, great 12s, I love this, stop recording.